Paris is a dream come true for many travellers. As many as 30 million tourists have been known to visit Paris annually, making it one of the most visited cities in the world. However, while a trip to this gorgeous French city can be an amazing experience, it can also get expensive if you don't plan well. That's why at Via Travellers, we've come up with 10 helpful tips to make the most of your vacation without breaking the bank. Subscribe today to our YouTube channel and keep tuning in for all the best budget travel tips. Don't forget to check the description below for our link to all the travel essentials you'll need for your Parisian getaway. Now, let's get started with our 10 tips to travel to Paris on a budget. Paris is full of amazing restaurants, but many of them are overpriced. Expensive tourist areas include the Louvre or the Eiffel Tower. At popular Michelin star eateries like Guy Savoie or Le Cinq, you can expect to pay as much as $350 per person. To save money, try to find restaurants away from these areas and opt for one of the countless cafes or bistros instead. Walk around and find some of the city's hidden gems. One of the best areas to explore is the Latin Quarter. This area offers numerous restaurants, cafes and bars that won't break your bank. The Latin Quarter is popular with locals and students as Sorbonne University is located there. For less than 15 to 25 euros, you can have a three-course meal. One popular spot in the area is La Palette. This quaint bistro has some great French cuisine and very reasonable prices. Another non-tourist area with good picks is the 7th Arrondissement. This neighbourhood is a bit more upscale and has some pricier restaurants, but there is something for every budget. For example, you can grab a croissant at La Petisserie des Rêves, or check out Le Baron Rouge in the same area for some delicious seafood dishes and excellent Belgian beers. If you venture over to the more touristy Notre Dame area, Bertrand's Paris is affordable for a quick bite. Paris is one of the oldest public transportation systems in the world. No matter where you're staying, chances are you'll be within a few blocks of a metro station. Most importantly, it's also one of the quickest and most convenient ways to get around the city. You can even use its metro system to come in from the airport. Once you arrive at Charles de Gaulle Airport, take the RERB train line to Paris. It will take you about 45 minutes and cost around 10 euros for a one-way ticket. Once you reach the city centre, you can connect to any of the metro lines. The best way to save money is to buy a carnet, a 10-pack of tickets for 14 euros and 90 cents, instead of paying for individual rides. You can also purchase Mobilis Day Passes and Navigo Week or Month Passes depending on your length of stay in Paris. These are great options if you plan on taking the metro or bus more than four times a day. You can buy an unlimited pass, which gives you access to buses, trains and metros throughout the city. Ultimately, the Paris metro system is a great way to get around quickly, cheaply and safely. Quite frankly, you have no excuse not to use it. It's especially useful if you plan to visit museums and attractions located in different parts of the city. The pass is sold in one, two and five day passes at various price points. You can buy the pass at any of the ticket machines located in metro stations or from the information desk at any station. Did you know that viewing world-renowned art can be on your list of cheap things to do in Paris? Yeah, I know, even crazy famous paintings and stuff. If you're a fan of art and or history, Paris is definitely the place to be. Paris has some of the most prestigious art museums in the world, such as the Louvre, the Orsay Museum and the Pompidou Centre. Unfortunately, these entry fees can really add up. But don't worry, there are plenty of days throughout the year when admission is free or discounted. Free for all EU citizens under 26 years of age and for everyone on every first Sunday of the month, visitors can enjoy free admission to several museums in Paris. The Picasso National Museum, Museum of Hunting and Nature, Museum of Arts and Crafts and the popular Orsay Museum are just a few that have free first Sundays. In addition, every Thursday evening from 6pm to 9.45pm, most national museums offer free entry. This includes the Louvre, the Orsay, the Pompidou Centre and many more. The permanent collections of Maison de Balzac, the Carnouchi Museum and the Museum of Modern Art in the City of Paris offer free admission year round. In addition, each summer the City of Paris organises Nuit Blanche or the Sleepless Night, a night when several museums remain open to the public until dawn. As we've already established, eating out in Paris can be pricey, so why not pack a picnic? Head to one of the city's famous markets, such as Marché des Enfants Rouges, for some fresh produce and gourmet snacks. 
Monoprix is the most convenient supermarket, and they have locations throughout Paris. It won't hurt your budget to pick up a bottle of wine, various cheeses, fruits, and some charcuterie to make your own picnic. Don't you dare forget to pack a fresh baguette! For about a year or two, you can walk into any bakery and get a warm baguette or croissant. Then make your way to one of Paris's many parks and gardens, including Jardin de Luxembourg, Parc du Champ de Mars, or Jardin de Tuileries, before enjoying a rustic lunch with the gang while taking in the picturesque views of the city. You won't be at a loss of attractions to see in Paris. If you plan to visit several attractions during your stay, the Paris Pass will be your best friend. This pass is valid for one, two, three, or six consecutive days and includes free entry to over 60 attractions and museums, unlimited access to public transport, free walking tours, a sane river cruise, and much more. While you may love planning your own itinerary, the Paris Pass is a great way to access cheap Paris activities while making sure you don't miss anything. Plus, with your Paris Pass in hand, you'll have priority access to popular attractions like the Louvre, Orsay Museum without having to wait in line. If you've ever seen how the line can wrap around the Eiffel Tower or the Louvre, you'll know that this is a great benefit. The Paris Pass is your key to avoiding the long lines at these popular attractions. Plus, you might get additional discounts at select restaurants or shops. Prices range from 59 to 199 euros depending on how many days you want your pass to last. When looking for free things to do in Paris, why not start with a tour of the city? The best way to explore a new city is on foot, and there's no better way to do that than joining a free walking tour. Most tours start in the morning and offer you an insider's view of the city with knowledgeable guides who are passionate about their hometown. The tours take you through some of the city's most iconic sites, such as the Eiffel Tower and Notre Dame, while also exploring its hidden gems even locals may not be aware of. The routes change every week, so you can join multiple times and still always find something new. Want to know how to find these tours? It's simple. First check with your hotel, hostel or Airbnb to find out if they offer any free walking tours in the city. Some may even have their own tours. You can also try searching on websites such as the Paris Tourist Office, free tours by foot and get your guide for more options. A great site for finding groups in cities around the world is meetup.com. You can search for Paris and scroll through the various meetups that are available or even start your own. These walking tours are also great ways to meet other travellers and make new friends. So, if you want to explore Paris in a more budget-friendly way and learn about its history, then sign up for one of the many free walking tours available. If you're looking for an economical, eco-friendly and extra French way to get around Paris, then renting one of the city's Vélib bikes is the way to go. The Parisian bike rental system provides a cost-effective and convenient way to explore the city at your own pace. Only in town for a day? get a day pass for only 5 euros, or extend your trip and get a 3 day pass for 20 euros. Occasionally users pay low fees by the minute. For example, only spend 1 euro if you need to take a bike for 30 minutes or less. You can rent and return bikes at any of their numerous bike stations around the city. After renting, you just have to follow a few instructions on how to unlock your bike, and then you're ready to go. The Velib system is perfect for those who are looking to explore Paris while getting some exercise in. Enjoy the freedom of going wherever you please and take advantage of the bike lanes that will lead you to some of the most beautiful parts of town. So, if you're looking for a cheap way to get around Paris, then the Vélib bikes are just what you need. Finding accommodations in Paris is where people often spend the most money. However, don't forget about the possibility of hostels. Hostels can offer comfortable accommodation at very low prices compared to hotels, plus they are often located in more convenient places that are close to the action. The best part is that there are a variety of hostels to choose from, so you can find one that fits your needs and budget. If you're traveling with friends, some hostels offer private rooms for two or more people. If you want to meet other travelers and make new friends, then there are also dorm-style rooms available. Many of these hostels also have women-only dorms if you're not comfortable in a mixed dorm. While the amenities may vary, most hostels offer a kitchen, paid laundry facility, and a common area where travelers can socialize. There are popular hostel chains in Europe, such as St. Christopher's Inn and Generator Hostel. There are also smaller hostels if you're looking for a more unique experience. If you're worried about privacy, some hostels, such as St. Christopher's, often have beds with privacy curtains. 
This chain also has its own restaurant slash pub where residents can get a discount on good food and drinks. In many cases, you can save even more money by booking on your mobile device or at the hostel's website. So don't forget about hostels when it comes to finding accommodations in Paris. They offer great savings without sacrificing much comfort and style. Purchasing water on the go can add up quickly. To save money, you should fill up your water bottle from one of the many drinking fountains located around Paris. You'll find them near public parks and squares, often marked by a blue sign that reads Eau Potable. These fountains are free to use and the water is safe to drink. You can also find public drinking fountains in certain metro stations, bus stops and train stations, so you can fill up your water bottle while on the go. So don't forget to bring your refillable water bottle with you when exploring Paris and take advantage of the free water available. If you have breakfast at your accommodations, you may also have access to a water station in the dining area before breakfast ends. Two points I mentioned earlier. Accommodations in Paris can be pricey as all heck, and the Paris metro goes all over the city, even to the suburbs and airport. This makes it easy to stay in a place that is outside the city centre and still be able to access the tourist attractions with ease. Staying outside of the inner city can save you money as most areas further away from town tend to be cheaper. You can also find accommodations ranging from private rooms, guest houses, B&Bs, hostels and cheaper hotels. When looking for a place to stay outside the city centre, be sure to check how far it is from the nearest metro station. Staying in a neighbourhood further away from the city centre and utilising public transport, you can save money while still having easy access to all of Paris's attractions. You might even find some hidden gems of your own. As you can see, with a little creative planning, you can find cheap things to do in the City of Lights. Not only that, you can shy away from all the common, expensive tourist traps and experience this amazing city like a seasoned traveller. And there you have it, folks. If you enjoyed our travel tips to Paris on a budget, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. As always, we have plenty of tips and tricks on how to travel around the world while staying within your budget and other hot tips. See you soon, and bon voyage!